In today's video, we're mixing uh, vocals. <music> Greetings and welcome back everybody. And if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing and uh, click that bell so you get notified when I got new videos up. Anyway, we're getting uh, towards the end of uh, our uh, pop rock mix that we're doing uh, analog style. As I've uh, mentioned before in this series, what I'm using for this entire mix is SSL console emulation, the Waves SSL e-channel uh, strip, and emulations of uh, vintage analog gear. And here's where we left off uh, yesterday. Sounding uh, really good in my opinion. What I've done um, to prepare the vocal areas, um, it was tracked with the Warm Audio WA87, which is a clone of a Neumann 87, and it was tracked through a Heritage 1073 preamp and a DBX 160. I do like to uh, track with the compression going in uh, to the computer. Preparing it for this mix, I also uh, did a bit of uh, de-essing and a tiny bit of pitch correction in a couple of spots. We're not going for a, a modern uh, perfect uh, mix here. I'd rather keep it a bit um, on the raw side. Anyways, let's start off uh, with some EQing on the vocal. The last thing that you probably will do before punching out on overtime suddenly remembering those which you've ignored and neglected throughout an entire lifetime just about high time The last thing that You probably will do Before punching out On overtime Suddenly remembering those which you've ignored and neglected throughout an entire lifetime just about high time for sure as you can hear what we're basically doing here is uh adding a bit of high end uh, for some uh, shine on the vocals and taking out a few uh, room uh, resonances which you will get in a less than um, perfect uh, room and a bit of um, high passing now we're also going to need a bit of uh, compression on this one what you do need to keep in mind with compressing uh, lead vocals is uh, you don't want a really fast attack on them a fast attack will uh, basically push the vocals back in the mix better to let the um, initial transients uh, through before punching out on overtime suddenly remembering light does have its own way I take a lot of different turns Not really much we can do about that Next thing we have is a, is a doubled vocal that comes in only on the choruses Life does have its own way I take a lot of different turns Not really much we can do about that We can give an honest try To 
many things I the once was done wrong. I've taken lots of different turns. Not really much we can do about that. We can give an honest try. What we're going to use for compression on this one is um, 1176. We're using the Blue Stripe uh, version of the Waves uh, CLA 76. Light does have its own way. I've taken lots of different turns. Not really much we can do about that. We can give an honest try to make things right. The ones were done wrong. And together with the main lead vocal. Let us have its own way. I've taken lots of different turns. Not really much we can do about that. Well, also got some um, harmony vocals, which we want to sound fairly similar to the main lead vocal. Let us have its own way. 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 Also, usually, uh, backing vocals I'll compress uh, quite a bit harder than uh, the main lead vocal, as they're supposed to be uh, a bit uh, further back in the mix. We have another uh, harmony vocal uh, towards the end. For we die before. You've probably noticed by now that unless they're horrible, I never uh, do uh, pitch correction on backing vocals. If you do that, you'll find that uh, they basically disappear in the mix. We're using the same EQ compression settings on this one as the other one. Before we die. Before we die. Before. And together with the lead vocal. Before we die. Good balance there. We're just going to need to even out uh, the lead vocals a bit more. First thing we're going to do is get some uh, de-essing going. To do that on the SSL channel, you have to click on the button that says EQ2 DIN SC. That's a sidechain for the compressor. Usually you'll find um, the area to be at about four to five uh, K on the vocal. We'll then boost that frequency. And there we're going to use a fast attack. Light does have its own way. I'm taking lots of different times. Now really much we can do. 
on the bus for a uh, vocal compression uh, a killer combo is uh, an 11 and 76 followed by an LA2A. As it's on a bus, you need to pick the stereo plugin. Be very aware of that uh, when it comes to the waves uh, plugins. Again, we're trying the blue one. Light does have its own way. I'm taking lots of different terms. Not really much we can do about that. An 1176 is great for uh, getting the in your face uh, vocal uh, sound. And then the CLA 2A. Light does have its own way. I'm taking lots of different terms. Not really much we can do about that. And I'll also be using the CLA2A on the backing vocal as well. Light does have its own way. I'm taking. Light does have its own way. I'm taking lots of different terms. Not really much we can do about that. Very nice. we now got uh, good vocal levels throughout the song. Last thing we have is, um, I've called it a uh, choir uh, section, which are basically ahs. And for big groups like that, uh, generally uh, tend to process them uh, as a group. Not really any point of uh, doing that uh, on a individually. Again, there's no uh, pitch correction, uh, altitude melodyne on any of these uh, tracks. As far as EQ goes, uh, generally you don't want them uh, as bright as the lead vocals. These are going to be uh, fairly a long way in the background. Also, on uh, backing vocals like these, you can compress them really hard. You want them uh, to be very even. Fast attack as well. It's a neat uh, trick when it comes to backing vocals that I picked up from Ken Slaughter on the um, course study that he did for uh, Produce Like a Pro. What you take is the Waves API 560 EQ. And then what you do is take the 1K slider and just pull it down.
What you do by this is uh, take away the frequencies that uh, make the vocals poke out. Instead, these vocals will now uh, blend into uh, into the instrumental mix. And I think there's uh, room for another compressor here. I think we'll try the um, LA-2A again. What I'll now play is um, all of the vocals with the acoustic guitars uh, from the last chorus. Life does have its own way I've taken lots of different times Now really much we can do about that We can give an honest try Full mix. Reverb for the vocal album again use the Lexicon 480 uh, plate. I'm taking lots of different turns Not really much we can do about that Not sure I'm uh, liking that too much Think I'm going to cheat a little bit here um, I'm going to now is uh, the one I usually <laughs> use It's from an Apple reverb, uh, it's a Bricasti and the vocal plate B is uh, very nice. Life does have its own way I've taken lots of different turns Not really much we can do about that We can give an honest try To make things right the once were done wrong Much better Life does have its own way I've taken lots of different turns Not really much we can do about that We can give an honest try to make things right the once were done wrong And hope that it will work things out before Lastly, we're going to need some uh, delay on the lead vocal, I think and We're going to use the um, D16 uh, repeater Which is in the Slate uh, bundle Try modern tape delay. That should uh, sound nice. An entire lifetime, lifetime. just about high time for sure. Suddenly remembering those which you've ignored and neglected. Throughout an entire lifetime, just about high time for sure. And we might uh, have some fun with some uh, automation on the probably uh, the delays uh, for our last uh, episode. Anyways. Let's uh, listen through the whole thing. The last thing that you probably 
We're definitely uh, getting there. Tomorrow we'll put the finishing uh, touches on this mix. Going through uh, all the buses and um, doing some automation and uh, looking at the master bus. Until then, have a great one.